Hi, I'm Paul. I'm the technical project manager here at Blast One, and today we're going to be going over the Blaster Recovery System 3.5. Let's get it. This is going to be our blast side of our blast recovery system. Um, you'll notice an inlet leading up to be able to isolate your regulator or bypass your regulator so you can control your actual blast air system just operating this or the regulator. Here we have a combo valve. So the combo valve is going to be one of our major components that keeps our air compressed and keeps a brace of flowing. Um, some issues we typically find out in the field is either this, this hose has been worn out internally too much, or this combo valve seals, the seals have worn out and need replaced. Um, what happens is when those seals or this, or this uh, hose is worn too much, is there, there's gonna be some significant blow-by through this hose where the piston's not press, pressing far enough and air is trickling out of it. Um, it's gonna cause a, a negative differential pressure to where it's not able to push abrasive through the system and you're stuck with just using air uh, at the end of your nozzle and vacuum, so you're counterproductive. So this is gonna be a 3.5 setup. Um, here you have where your abrasive drops through in filters. Uh, there's a grate uh, or a screen in here that filters out any big debris so it doesn't make its way within the blast pot itself. Um, so you have the blast pot and below it you'll have a tear valve metering valve um, located at the end where you're gonna connect your hose. So here's one of the key components to making sure we have enough vacuum within our system. So this is an inductor. Um, within this is going to be a Venturi nozzle. So the inlet air is going to make, make its way through the Venturi nozzle, creating a vacuum. That vacuum is going to come from here and it's going to be exhausted through here. So this is the vacuum side of our blast recovery system. In here is a five micron filter that prevents hazardous, hazardous dust from making its way back into the atmosphere. Um, this is going to be the, the dirty side of the vacuum. So the filter and then you're, you're gonna have dust and any big debris drop out through here into the cam lock where you can pull this off and clean out or drop these levers and remove the cap. On the top side of the vacuum is the clean side. This side, you, not, you do not want any debris, any dust, any hazardous waste inside. Otherwise, it's gonna make its way into the atmosphere. So it's very imperative that you make sure this side is clean and you can tell if there's dust or um, hazardous material coming out through the through the exhaust, which will exhaust through the actual fork, forklift pockets. A few issues that we typically see on the field is the combo valve or the blowdown hose wearing out, the seals wearing out within the combo valve. This can prevent abrasive from flowing through your hose because the hose is not being pinched properly and it's not causing the, the pop-up seal to stay sealed completely. And so there's small leaks within the top, the top of the abrasive vessel and it's not able to force abrasive into the metering valve. So the pressure, the pressure through the pusher line is actually more intense than it is within the vessel. Here we have a control valve. Um, we have our air in, air out. Um, what happens here is when we send an air signal in, this air is gonna push a plunger over. What we see in the field sometimes is debris can get in this um, and cause this plunger to stick open. And when that plunger sticks open, your auto air valve and your terra valve can stay open. Um, and typically people will call and say, hey, you know, my pot's not shut shutting off. I have a runaway pot. And the only thing they, they do is either shut their auto air valve off and they, or they shut their inlet off. An easy fix for that out in the field is simply taking this cap off right here, these, these four screws, cleaning that out, throwing some chapstick on it and getting back to work. If you have any more questions, call or click the link below.